So if you're watching this video, you're probably just about to start having a career in data and, and, and that's why you're learning SQL. So in this video, I'm going to cover all the joints that data career would use and also what's the business use cases of these joints. And I'm also going to cover the sub queries, which are like pretty much a smaller query inside another query that will help you, you know, being able to layer your logic from one to the other. So let's get started. So here are the four main types of joins, and I'm helping you visualizing an event, kind of like a Venn diagram, where you know an inner join would be that you have two different tables, but you're trying to only take out the common section in the middle, versus a left join is that like you keep everything from the left tape, like the the first table you put in and that you're trying to find any information you have from the right table, you know, to and then to map it to your left table. And the right join is simply the reverse of left join that you keep everything from the second table and try to look up things from the left table to join to your right table. And the full join is pretty much looking at all the values you have in your, both your tables and trying to get um, all the mappings across it too. So the first one is inner join, and it's only taking the information that's shared between the two tables. So if you look at the two tables at the bottom that we have ID column and ID column B, if we try to inner join on the ID, we'll try to find the two IDs that are commonly shared, which are B and C. So the um, actual final table will be ID B and C with column A value and column B value, but only for B and C. And why are people why would people use inner join? First of all, it's actually the fastest join out of all the joins you can ever have. And so if you, you're you sure that, let's say, the dates are all, you know, commonly shared across two tables, then always use the inner join because it's the fastest. Um, and if, you know, if, if you know the ID is also commonly shared, let's say it's a customer ID, it's both tables have all the customer IDs, then you should always use the inner join. And the other way of using it is that you'll use it as a filter that um, you know, you, if, because you only want the IDs that are commonly shared between two tables, so you're essentially filtering out anything that's not shared between the two. Now let's look at the second one, which is the left join. Um, it's actually the most commonly used join because that you always, you know, try to look up, let's say, the customer ID and try to look up your customer information, like first name, last name, and so that's when you will use a left join because you don't want to lose any of the information you have from your. Uh, let's say like sales data, but you still want to look up you know, who they are, um, but you don't want to lose anything that's not in the you know not in your customer base data. So that that's why you use a left join, and so you keep everything on the left table with the almost most of the information, and try to look up information from the other table. And in this case, we if we have A B C in the table in the first table and then B C D in the second table, then you'll keep everything A B C and then try to map BC from your second table and have those columns move over. And anything that's not found in the second table will be blank for column B. And the other use case of left join is that if you want to see, you know, if you want to show that the customers did not make any purchase, then you will put your customer table as your leftmost table and try to uh, jo left join with your sales data so then that your customer table if they didn't make any purchase or didn't make, make, didn't make any revenue from that customer then you will show zeros. And the third one is a right join. A uh, right join is simply a reverse of left join so you'll keep BCD but remove the A, I, uh, IDA from your first table. And the reason you will really use right join is simply that you know the tables are the same, you just have to flip it and you're just completely lazy. And that's the number one reason you actually do. You so the, the second last one is a full outer join, which is showing all the values from both of your tables. So you have ABC in first table, BCD in the second table. So you'll actually show ABC and D and show all the col uh, col for both columns. Uh, me personally, I use full outer join a lot, mainly for like queuing my query or like queuing, you know, the two tables if there are any difference between the two, just so I can ch cross check. And so the how you will look uh, after you join them will be what I said, like ABC with ID A, B, C, and D, and with your column A and column B. 
And what happens is that if the column A doesn't have like ID D, then you'll just show null, which is meaning blank. So the last join I'm going to talk about is cross join. It's a way for you to try and figure out all the combinations between your IDs or any you know category you're, you're trying to use. And so in this case, you'll have um, ID A try to map to B, C, and D in the second table. So it'll be A, B, A, C, and A, D. There'll be three different rows. And then when you look at um, ID B in your first table, you're going to have B, 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 C, and B, D. That's going to be another three rows. So I'll be already be six rows. And then you have C, which is going to be C, B, C, C, and C, D, and so on. So the second part of what I want to talk about is subquery. So subquery is essentially like you trying to play Lego and have a smaller pieces inside, you know, underneath like the big piece so it can support the big pieces. And so it's to, you know, mainly to help with a like multiple layer of calculation. An example I'm giving here is like a 30 day average logins from your login table. So you'll essentially have, you know, your date and the total logins per day uh, as, as your aggregation from your login and filtered by uh, 30 days. And then you're going to, that's your subquery, and then you're going to calculate the average of the total logins from that smaller query that you just wrote. So how does that look in the actual SQL? Is that you have, you know, your date, select your date, and then the parentheses is the subquery, and the summation of your login from your login table, and make sure you choose the date that's in the last 30 days, and take the average of that. So you will have two layers that you're calculating. Since I talk about subquery, I'm also going to talk about CTE. And honestly, I didn't even know it's called CTE until someone asked me in an interview, uh, which is essentially the with statement uh, that you put above your you know, core query. And then it's the same idea as subquery. It's just that you name this, the you know, the parentheses in the small query with a name. So you don't have to uh, type it all out at the uh, when you write your actual core query. Uh, the my, main point of doing this is that if you're, you know, if you have a query that's the logic that you're actually going to use more than once, then it's essentially like building a smaller chunk of lego that you can plug in uh to other you know other parts of your query when on demand so it's like you have you have it named already and then you just have to apply it with a name so that's very convenient when you have to use the your sub query more than once i would highly suggest you to you know write your query in 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 the cte when you have to use it more than once I'll quickly cover what I covered today. Uh, we talked about the five main joints and that inner joint is the fastest joint, but the left joint is most commonly used because you don't want to lose uh, all the information on the other table that you have. And then we also talk about subquery, which is like, you know, you have smaller blocks of Lego and trying to plug it into bigger blocks of Le Lego. And that will be your smaller query inside your big query. And then we also talk about CTE, which is what it's like essentially a subquery, but that when you know that you're going to use it more than once, then you should definitely use a CTE. Other than that, I think a majority of time is more of a personal preference. Like some people like to just write with statements because it, it makes more sense in their logic. Uh, for me, I like to write subquery, but it really depends on your personal style.